Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, live in Motor City Stadium, the ultimate rumble you've all been waiting for. In the blue corner, weighing in at an undisclosed but estimated 7,500 pounds, with a bed length punching reach of five and a half feet, is Rams 2025. 1500 Ram Charger in the red corner, weighing in at an estimated mind bending 8,700 pounds, showing off a scary bed length punching reach with the mid gate dropped and its tailgate stop up at almost 11 feet. Here's the Silver Auto EV RST! It's the fight of the century with the pure EV silver auto contender going head-to-head -head against the most brutal, impressive series hybrid the world has ever seen. Are you ready? Then let's get Here we are, well into 2024, and coming up in 2025, there are currently two major contenders that represent two very different approaches when it comes to the electrified future of pickup trucks. And these legacy truck juggernauts could swing the course of the truck space for the remainder of the decade. It all comes down to this moment to find out which one could take the world light duty EV truck title belt and which one might hang up the gloves. So to be clear, we're pinning the top trims of each truck in the ring, putting the 2025 Ram 1500 Ram Charger Tungsten Edition up against the 2024 Chevy Silverado EV RST for the ultimate battle in future truck dominance. If you've watched my previous videos, the one here on the Ram Charger, you might be surprised with how I call this fight by the final bell. First, we'll talk about what these contenders deliver and then about two critical benchmarks each of these trucks must achieve to win over the fans and the judges. And that's you. That will reveal where each has a chance to land a crushing body blow or where weak spots might open a potential knockout. But look out for some final round rallies because there's one reality that might turn the tables for good. First, the Ram Charger, and it steps up. Some, including me, think of this metal matador as more of a hybrid fighter like a MMA. But this truck isn't holding back any solid punches and isn't like any hybrid you've ever seen on the road before. Okay, the minor fact exists that neither of these trucks actually is on the road, but yeah, details, details. I mean, where's the fun in that? As of now, no other truck manufacturer has taken Ram's strategic battle plan here. Not even China's BYD Shark pickup that's coming out in Mexico, Asia, and Europe in 2025 because, well, they stand zero chance against superior American steel. Uh, and the fact we're going to tariff the snot out of them so they can't afford to come here. But back to the fight. The Ram Charger plans to be somewhat in line with smaller car predecessors like the Chevy Volt or the BMW i3. However, nothing comes close to matching what Ram has constructed as far as raw power, incredible versatility, and really, I'm talking true truck creds here. It's a bold and innovative play. Ram Charger will utilize the tried and true 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar engine under that hood as the powerhouse to pump out 130 kilowatts continuously when running. So yeah, okay, there's no frunk to speak of. You don't get the trendy frunk. But what makes this truck unique is that its gas engine is incredibly efficient at producing electricity because it doesn't have to do any of the typical things a gas engine does, all of which produce energy losses via things like, I don't know, like a transmission, a differential, or a transfer case. All the Pentastar does is power up the batteries, along with creating a boost to the two electric engines. The Ram Charger's battery pack is also no slouch here with a total of 92 kilowatt hours, with 70 of those usable. 
uh, don't ask me what happened to the Phantom 22 kilowatts that seem to uh, kind of do nothing, unless maybe it powers the onboard 5G mind control unit, an AI overlord that will take over our roads and end civilization as we know it! Matt! Still, Ram certainly isn't saying a peep about all that lithium dead weight, but might turn out to be an ace in the hole that won't be revealed until after the final bell. Could be interesting. I mean, 22 kilowatt hours just sitting around doing nothing? Hmm. On top of all that, it offers level one, level two, and DC fast charging via its, its charging port. Although this isn't much of a huge positive contender stat because unfortunately, it has the lowest charging speed of any EV truck on the market, coming in at a rate of only about 145 kilowatts. That's 10 kilowatts less than the already slow F-150 Lightning. So basically it's like Mike Tyson doing 12 hours of, you know, finger stretches and, and, and laughter yoga. <laughs> you know, every day before a title match. But according to Ram, What's better is that you'll be able to drive 145 miles on electric only, and then start drinking from the 27 gallon gas tank supplying the generator. But it's able to accomplish a whopping estimated combined range of 690 miles or 1,110 kilometers before needing gas, chargers, or anything else. When the time comes for more fuel, you can either fill up with gas, charger, or both. The Ram charger is as Samuel Jackson would say, God mother damn. promising to have the top towing capacity of any EV truck ever at 14,000 pounds. That's 6,350 kilograms and a payload capacity of over 2,600 pounds or 1,179 kilograms, beating even the fabled Cybertruck. That's getting squarely into the sights of a heavyweight category in a light duty fight. It's like Chevy bringing a grapefruit spoon to a gunfight. But hey, to give the gang at GM some credit before the bell rings, this almost four ton brick with wheels comes with the largest battery pack of any light duty EV truck available so far. But with that 250 kilowatt hour tonnage in its belly, puts out an equally record-setting EV range expected around the 450 mile or 725 kilometer mark without drinking a single drop of high octane steroidal go-go juice. This is pure EV monster magic. And in various road tests already conducted, we're seeing those numbers not only hold up in the real world, but do even better. I mean, that's amazing. Even though it was, you know, done with sheer brute force, just packing in a crap pile of batteries. But for a fledging EV truck space, it's working. Even though this thing has a huge battery, its charging speed takes the EV truck crown long before the pre-fight weigh-in. Not only is this capable of 350 kilowatt charging speeds, which is freaking amazing, it keeps it up for much longer than any other EV, including most cars. Screw bulking up before the scales, this thing's eating lightning bolts. I know, low blow shot intended for Ford. Basically, it can stuff 100 miles back into its packs in less than 10 minutes. To get the entire 450 miles juiced up takes a little over an hour. Nobody wants to sit that long, but of course, no EV owner charges that way since quick short bursts give the fastest boosts in the least amount of time. Basically a pre-fight protein power shake before knocking the competition's teeth out. To put this into context, According to out of spec reviews data, providing 150 miles of range at 70 miles per hour, the F-150 Lightning took 31 minutes. The Rivian R1T, 23 minutes to charge up the same. The Cybertruck chiseled out 21 minutes to get there. And the Silverado EV RST blew them all out of the water at only 14 minutes. I'll provide a link to their video with all the nerdy stuff below. Comparatively, the Silverado EV RST, as far as the other stats, 
Well, it has a towing capacity of only 10,000 pounds, I mean only, or 4,535 kilograms, and a maximum payload of only 1,500 pounds or 680 kilograms. Neither of these champs enter the ring for cheap. When you're the EV pickup champion contender of the world, you can demand a lot of coin for your stage presence, and both of these trucks will suck your wallet dry and call you dusty. The RST is the top trim of the Silverado EV line, and the Ram promises the most luxurious tungsten trim for the Ram Charger. Expect both of these to be comparably insane, somewhere around $100,000 US for a truck. But heck with introductions, let's get this EV slugfest started. Oh, on the critical towing front, the Silverado takes a quick right hook to the grill. The Ram Charger takes Silverado quickly into the ropes, outdoing the RST by a staggering 4,000 pounds. The Ram Charger is the undisputed champion before the fight starts. Same goes for hauling, as the Silverado EV takes a mean uppercut to the hood and a 24-inch tire right to the lug nuts. Over 1,000 pounds is a pretty stinking big spread in favor of the Ram Charger. That's basically one less trip you have to take to haul the same amount of stuff an equal distance. However you slice it, that's more efficient in both time and costs, especially if you're operating a business. And in a flurry of one-two punches, the worst part about the previous two blows is that the Ram Charger can do both for much longer, going the full 10 rounds before needing a tank full of combustion engine Gatorade. That puts Silverado EV short-circuiting in its shorts, but still managing to stay upright as the closing bell is looming. How much range will the Ram Charger achieve when towing or hauling? Well, this boat ain't gonna decide it because we're not sure. And the reason we're not sure is because, well, the specs haven't been made public yet. But we have a pretty good idea what the RST manages to achieve and pretty sure the Ram Series Hybrid will blow its doors off. In range tests at 70 miles per hour over a mountain pass and compared to the other three EV trucks on the market, all of them towing Model 3s on the same trailers that weighed in at around 6,500 pounds, out of spec motoring determined, the Silverado EV Work Truck 4, that's the trimmed down version of the yet to be released RST, achieved over 300 miles on a full charge, over a mountain pass, towing a Model 3 on a trailer. That's just freaking impressive. But if Ram Charger's numbers hold true, it should beat that by well over 100 miles with all things being equal. But even though Silverado EV's front might not open for weeks due to all the swelling from all the punches, here's where the fight might even out a little for the bruised up Chevy electric truck. What exactly are we measuring here? The Ram Charger will likely do over 400 miles if it did the same towing range test, pulling a Model 3 in a trailer over a mountain pass. But 80% of those miles will be achieved by burning gas. So is that a realistic mono a mono assessment of a so-called electric truck? Is this a fair fight? The reality is that Ram Charger only achieves 145 of its estimated 690 miles before the 27 gallons of gasoline take over to power the batteries. So that means 545 miles of the fight is all fossil fuels in every one of these rounds. If the truck ever remained in purely electric mode, it would take multiple DC fast charging visits. You couldn't charge at home and do all of this, all at less than half the charging speed as the Silverado to do the same thing. But the point to all of this is that it doesn't have to do that. For short commutes up to 145 miles, it's always electric, as long as some of the controversy surrounding it is actually proven incorrect. See my previous video on some of the conflicting statements that brought this into question. However, most truck guys don't tow and haul all the time, and thus the Ram Charger is the ultimate contender. It can be electric when being fully electric makes sense which is most of the time. And then it can be a highly efficient gas truck to do the long haul dirty work without a single drop of range anxiety ever shed. But here's the thing, as a truck owner, if you're doing anything under 450 miles on a regular basis 
and you don't want to wait around charging, the Silverado EV steps up and returns a series of crushing jabs and effective blows of its own. It comes down to what you are planning to use your truck for. If you occasionally tow and haul, but typically under 300 miles total, then you'll never need to charge the Silverado on the road anyway, only in your driveway or garage overnight once you're back home. At a fraction of the cost of a DC fast charger and multiples of dollars cheaper, than gasoline. If you exceed that number on a more frequent basis, the Ram Charger is <laughs> the range champion. But be prepared to dole out money for gas, oil changes, spark plugs, radiator fluid, oil filters, and fuel filters, none of which exist on the Silverado EV. That's got to be kept in perspective. Still, even with the gas factored in, the Ram Charger is an incredibly efficient truck. And in a raging battle, no one has time to sit down and debate any the training techniques in the middle of a fight. If you'd like to see how efficient the Ram Charger is, with all these things factored in, check out this great video put out by Army Property that gets into all the efficiency numbers and basically concludes that even overall, this is one efficient truck. I've provided the link in the description below. In the end, Here's the biggest reality that might keep things in Ram Chargers corner. Legacy Auto is pulling back on EV trucks. Ford and GM were never all in this fight and it shows. Why is it that both are losing even more money per vehicle than startup Rivian is? The answer is simple. It's a sideshow. 100% commitment means a lot of pain for quite a while. You're going to take a crap pile of punches and you're going to get a lot of knockouts before you ever start winning some fights. And none of that pain is immediately necessary while record profits and sales are working in the gas and diesel truck segment already. That means that less effort or intention to curb that easy profit is most likely. Which also leads me to believe that although battery tech globally is rapidly approaching the point where batteries, electric locomotion efficiency, and full use of circular energy systems like heat pumps and regen could reach mileage parity with a gas truck, I'm now doubting whether the industry will see any impetus to make that happen when the possibility is at first to transition they're going to lose money. With the pressure valve released by Cybertruck's less than stellar numbers, there is little incentive for Legacy Auto to try to outdo its own highly profitable internal combustion products. And that has led to the Silverado only doing its stellar numbers by weighing it down like a lead freaking elephant to get anywhere near acceptable range and towing numbers. Lastly, a charging infrastructure that is so far behind it's staring at its own buttocks is not helping the pure EV truck fight, which leads me to a surprising place. As the final bell rings for the near term for the applications mentioned above, Ram Charger takes the belt for the short term as better suited to meet the needs of hardcore traditional truck operators. Now, if this was a true EV truck fight, however, Ram Charger would be disqualified for hiding brass knuckles in its boxing gloves and a can of gas. That's where these two trucks stand and truck buyers will decide which way the wind will likely blow very, very soon. And that's when they visit the dealer finance department and place their bets on the 10th round verdict. As always, thanks for watching.